friends then we start together sound is okay sit in any comfortable position spine straight hand gyan ochinna mudra on your knee eye close check your breathe and try to relax your whole breathe one time check your body if you feel uncomfortable in any body part then try to relax that part and again come on your breathe check the length of breathe check the speed of breathe if possible try to improve the length of breathe you can do mentally count also how much second you do inhale how much second you do exhale improve the length of breathe improve the length of breathe we do three time om chanting slowly and deeply inhale second time inhale last time inhale Join to your palm in front of your body. Rub your palm. After hit your palm, palm on your eyes. Open your eyes and look your palm. Namaste. Inhale. Lift your arms up. palm facing each other and try to stretch up maximum body and arms try to in one line look forward continue exhale relax your hand inhale lift your arms up stretch up body and arms in one line palm facing each other arms straight lift your shoulder up stretch your abdominal muscle back muscle side exhale relax your hand inhale lift your arms up stretch up stretch up maximum exhale relax your hand inhale lift your arms up last time try to stretch up maximum maintain in final position 5 4 
survey show one body and arms in one line and slowly go forward use your hip for bend okay if i do this way use your hip the spine should be straight body and arms in one line palm facing each other lengthen your spine maintain in final position five four survey sew one relax your hand lengthen your spine continue interlock your finger back side and stretch your arms five four survey sew one inhale come center relax your hand we do side stretching open your arms shoulder level drop your left palm on your right thighs and exhale side stretching body and arms in one line and body not move forward side body continue in hip level okay so exhale side stretching inhale center exhale other side inhale center exhale other side inhale center exhale other side inhale center exhale last time left side stretch and maintain in final position five four survey sew one inhale center exhale other side five four survey sew one inhale come center twist your abdomen left side exhale and try to catch your left toes if you can't make lotus just put your one leg up this side you catch your toes and then twist look back shoulder try to in one line if you can make lotus then continue practice with lotus inhale center exhale other side so catch your right toes through the right hand and then twist look back shoulder try to in one line inhale center exhale other side inhale center exhale other side twist maximum inhale center last time left side twist as much as you can maintain in final position 5 4 survey two one inhale center exhale other side shoulder try to in one line look back five four survey two one inhale come center relax your hand relax your leg joint your feet and butterfly
knee try to touch the floor spine straight exhale go forward belly rest on your leg look forward inhale center exhale go forward inhale center last time exhale go forward open your arms forward side or interlock your finger back side the spine try to straight maintain in final position five four three two one inhale center relax your leg come in cat pose cat pose you already know only one wrist gap between your knee and between hand and leg one hand gap inhale look up exhale look your navel inhale look up exhale look your navel inhale look up exhale look your navel inhale look up lift your left leg up leg try to up maximum both buttock in same height and try to leg up exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead inhale leg up look up exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead inhale leg up look up exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead inhale leg up look up exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead maintain 5 4 3 2 one inhale leg up look up five four sirvi two one relax your left leg continue lift your right leg up inhale exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead inhale leg up look up exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead inhale leg up look up exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead inhale leg up look up last time exhale bend your knee close your knee and forehead maintain 5 4 3 one inhale leg up look up 5 4 One, relax your leg. <clears throat> From here, we try for shoulder strength and for core strength. We practice this for improve our hand balance. Okay, so we practice for shoulder and core, 
and then tomorrow we practice hand violence. So first come in cat pose again and we do push up without move your elbow. Elbow not come inside or outside. Elbow fix in one place, then go forward and chest try to come between your hand. If your chest not come, you can use block under chest, okay? Then try. So continue, bend your elbow, go forward. Inhale up. Exhale, go forward. Inhale up. Exhale, go forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Relax your hand. Rotate your wrist. Continue. Next practice again. Come in cat pose. Lift your left leg up. Leg try to up maximum and same push up. Bend your elbow. Go forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Go forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Go forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up one more time. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Second side. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, go down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Relax and rotate your shoulder. Opposite direction. Now come in plank pose. And try to lift your shoulder up. Body little forward. And maintain. Five. Four. Three, two, one, relax. Drop your elbow on floor. Shoulder again, little forward. Leg straight, shoulder lifted. Maintain. Five, four, three, Two, one, relax. Again, come in plank pose. Body little bit forward side, okay? Not inside of wrist. Try to shoulder come. Forward side of wrist, then leg straight. Shoulder up and lift your left leg up. Maintain. Five, four, three, Two, one, change your leg. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Again, rotate your shoulder. Try to relax your shoulder. Opposite direction. You just try how much you can, okay? If you can't do plank, use block under knee and then try to come in plank. Okay, I show you. Just if you can't do plank, use block here, okay? And then try to come this position, but shoulder up. You can use two block, three block, four block, and then try. Next, come in down facing dog. 
down facing dog he push back look forward lengthen your spine he'll try to on floor look forward continue lift your shoulder maintain here five four three two one we do push up in same position so elbow come in 90 degree position and then chest try to on floor go forward and if you can't do use block under knee just put here and then try okay go down down again forward then come and back continue go back two more time one more last in same position with one leg okay so try with one leg lift your left leg up bend your left knee left knee touch your left armpit inhale leg up and bend your elbow arms straight and knee touch your armpit bend your elbow leg up arms straight knee touch your armpit bend your elbow leg up again two more time last time relax same practice we repeat another side so first relax then we start rotate your shoulder this will improve your shoulder strength and core strength for any type of hand balance we practice for more strength slowly slowly today is the first day so we just do push up or some more posture tomorrow we try a little difficult more and then slowly come on hand balance okay so continue through the right leg lift your right leg up bend your knee knee touch your armpit inhale leg up and bend your elbow again arms straight knee touch your armpit continue again so last second last relax next position come in half plank half plank and shoulder forward side inhale back exhale back inhale forward exhale back inhale forward exhale back inhale forward exhale back this for elbow strength okay relax this will for elbow strength if you have more strength then try to lift your elbow 
from half plank to plank otherwise just one hand on floor then lift and then both palm on floor first we do easier then we so we practice final and if you can't do that also then you can use elbow just this is plank and can drop your elbow on block okay try to understand all practice continue first plank pose you can drop your block here plank pose shoulder lifted and drop your both elbow in shoulder is still forward and come in light chaturanga then arms straight okay shoulder always upside of uh, palm okay upside of wrist when you drop shoulder not move back shoulder is still forward okay still forward and drop okay and then go forward lift so you if you use block here then you can drop your block uh, drop your elbow on block then easily you can lift your elbow from block and if you can't lift from there also you can lift your one hand one hand one hand and then arms try to straight okay continue try how much possible my arms also not have strong and continue uh, teach after teach class also my arms little tired you practice continue rotate your shoulder now continue next tomorrow we practice more next posture come in vajrasana okay thunderbolt pose knee together sit on your heel palm come beside your knee make hunch and knee try to touch your uh, forehead try to touch your knee so lift your knee from here lift your hip from here and try to close your knee and forehead palm inside of knee okay continue lift exhale relax try again exhale try again remember your finger inside of knee okay if your palm going forward then posture become easy so try to palm inside and lift your knee lift your hip up and toes always flat toes not going tuck toes flat try more little try to lift your knee last time so hold with count lift your knee oh relax rotate your shoulder we practice for shoulder strength wrist and elbow strength okay then we improve our hand balance so practice continue next portion use block
next portion look very clearly now little more difficult okay so check very clearly you can watch your body in mirror you can watch your body in camera come in cat pose we use block also okay come in cat pose first drop your palm after knee drop your palm after knee just four five finger gap between your knee make hunch hunch maximum hunch maximum inhale relax use one block forward side you can use in this height also this height also and down also without block also so first we try in this height block forward side in triangle step make hunch maximum elbow fix in one place then bend your elbow and go forward if easily you can touch block then turn block okay and remember elbow not go in elbow not go out elbow fix in one place make hunch maximum bend your elbow and elbow shoulder move forward side head touch the block now arms not have strength because already practice and arms going tired but try this is last posture then we try one to time hand balance first bend your elbow understand elbow fix in one place and body move forward with hunch okay with hunch body move forward two time more bend your elbow first hunch maintain the hunch and go forward last time maintain the hunch now my arm is tired we come for hand balance now next all practice we try tomorrow because slowly slowly practice become more difficult so we try tomorrow continue we do hand balance now with wall so you come close with wall close with wall everyone close with wall close with wall and finger also close if you can't do then little bit far is okay little bit far is okay but closer continue okay and jump on wall one leg forward one leg back and try to jump on wall if you can then try to body on wall if not then continue repeat the jumping position and try to come on wall lift your shoulder up shoulder not down remember shoulder up up okay shoulder lifted toes pointing up head out head out hold here hold longer how much you can shoulder up not do any movement just hold longer
relax if you can hold longer than slowly slowly improve your balance and improve your wrist strength improve your shoulder and elbow strength we already do practice a lot for shoulder wrist and elbow and now we try to just hold improve the holding capacity no need to make balance slowly slowly balance automatically going improve okay just try to improve your strength continue one more time we repeat so finger close with wall and jump on wall head out toes pointing up shoulder lifted slowly slowly today my spine have little far from body, uh, wall okay but tomorrow we try with closer today you just hold in this position okay continue now we do opposite side opposite side is easy everyone can try this so continue first close with wall and walk palm on floor leg up you can hold here also if you can't close but if possible then slowly slowly try to close your hand now you, my arms already tired but i try to close close more wrist also close with wall okay i just hold here you also try to hold shoulder lifted my arms tired oh okay so we finish here first we do shanti part then we talk okay sit in any comfortable position and try to relax your whole body relax your breath hand gyano chin mudra on your knee eye close and watch your whole body try to remember the whole practice of today and slowly slowly relax your whole body muscles relax your breath after relax you can do savasana also after hand balance we not do savasana because of blood flow blood flow have head side so if you directly lie down then blood flow not reach easily uh, near uh, near head so first you try to relax your whole body then you can do savasana sorry we do hand balance then blood flow have head side we do sit because blood flow need relax if do savasana then blood flow balance in whole body so that not good so first relax your whole body then come in savasana
Now we do Shanti part. Slowly and deeply inhale. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Joint your palm in front of your body. Rub your palm. After hit your palm, palm on your eyes. <clears throat> 